Hello everybody. My name is Chad Miller. I am 44 years old. Live here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And the reason I wanted to start doing these video blogs or vlogs as the young generation calls them is have a lot of things that bothers me with our society and the way things are are trending um, and so I just want to offer up my viewpoint and my opinions um, on those different things um, I'm always open to um, ideas if there is something that specific that you want me to cover um, I'll be more than happy to do so. Uh, but again, like I said, my name is Chad Miller, 43 years, 44 years old, almost 45. Live here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I am the father of two biological children. Um, my daughter, Mackenzie, who is almost 16, um, should be 16 in August. And my son, Camden, who will be 16 or 14, I'm sorry, in um, June. So, I'm a single dad, um, not married. I am engaged, uh, but I am not married. And it's just me and my two kids and my daughter's boyfriend. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, that live there at home with me. So, a little bit about my upbringing. I was raised in a, a Baptist Christian home was taught morals and was given a strong set of beliefs, a very strong belief system. Uh, I am a Christian. I do believe in God. I do not go to church every Sunday. Uh, I do pray and I do talk to God on a daily basis. And I believe that is a very important part of our culture that we are losing. Uh, more about me, um, I got married the first time whenever I was 28 years old, or 27 actually, just when I got married, we had our first baby whenever um, I was 28. Uh, I lost my virginity to the first woman that I married. And it's funny whenever you are, and I don't wanna say I was young, but I was pretty young and I was pretty naive you know, the sex talks that my parents gave me were, if you have it, I'll kill you. And that was pretty much the end of it. And my dad scared the living hell out of me. So I never did it. And so I was very naive in, in that arena of life. I still had a great childhood and everything. Um, great teenage years. We always had a lot of fun. Um, but anyway... Um, whenever you're, you're looking for that first wife, you don't really know what you're looking for, to be perfectly honest. And coming from such a naive background, um, welcome whoever joined us. Coming from such a naive background, I really had no clue what I was looking for and what I wanted. So... Turn on the chat there, so if anybody, whoever joined, if they want to chat. So really, my first marriage boiled down to a, a marriage about sex. That's basically what it was. And, there, and there's more to it than that. Um, but whenever you really boil it down, it was about sex. I did not want to, to marry her. Um, but I had made a mistake of getting attached to her two children and I just couldn't bring myself to to not go through with it you know we weren't living together or anything but I was staying over at her house all the time um, I was out on my own at that time but I was just living with one of my cousins um, and basically you know my address was my cousin's house, but I pretty much stayed at her place. 
and made a lot of mistakes. Made a lot of mistakes that, you know, ended up hurting a lot of people in the long run. And so, your first marriage, and I hate to put it that way because I'm a believer in, you know, one marriage forever. But, you know, for me, my first marriage was, was all about sex um, and fulfilling my commitment that I had made to her kids, not to her, but to her kids. And long story short, um, we were married for just shy of seven years is whenever paperwork was filed for a divorce. Um, she just up and walked out one day, left her two kids at home, um, left our two biologic, my two biological children at home with me. So there were four of us um, there, four kids and just left and you know I got a call from her oldest son who he would have been I believe 10 at the time and called and told me dad you know mom left and I'm like okay well she like out front or he's like no she packed a bag she loaded the car she's gone so I flipped out you know um but anyway, you know, those two older kids that were her biological children, they went to live with uh, their dad, their biological dad, who was a, a total loser, a total drug head. But that's where, that's where they went. You know, I had no legal rights to them. Um, that falls within blood relatives. So that's where they went. So I was left with my own two kids um, to raise by myself. And I owned my own company at the time, which I pretty much bankrupted, making sure that I kept custody of my kids, um, making sure that my kids were taken care of and loved and you know fed and all of that stuff. And I spent so much time with them, spent very little time at work which led to the demise of my company. Um, I work in fire protection, uh, have for, you know, 24 years now. So, so I'm divorced, I'm a single dad, I've got family um, that's helping me out, but I don't like family helping me out, I wanna do it on my own. Um, I believe that, you know, I should be the one raising my kids, not family members. So I made a decision that, hey, I need to find another wife, get married, so that my kids have a mom at home. Which was a, a big mistake. Um, it led me into my second marriage, which she had two kids when we got married. Um, one of them was older and one of them was pretty much the exact same age as my daughter, Mackenzie. And that was just like a total cluster almost from day one. And looking back, you know, I can't really tell you what I was thinking or how I was feeling, um, you know, I thought I loved the girl, uh, but I couldn't love her in the way that she should have been loved, you know, the way that anybody should be loved, because that wasn't my focus. My focus was my children. My focus was my children. So we got married and we fought, we fought a lot. The kids fought, they fought a lot. Um, it was a constant battle, uh, just a battle of wits and a battle of heads, you know, just button heads back and forth all the time. And, you know, she'd treat my kids one way and hers a different way, you know. And finally it came down to a breaking point. My daughter came to me 
uh, my daughter and my son and said, look, and at this point, they very rarely had anything to do with her biological mother. Uh, they were seeing her every other weekend. They were not a fan of going over there. She was a complete and utter drunk. Uh, and my kids, you know, weren't raised in that atmosphere. That's not what they see as a, a parental figure, a drunk. And men were running in and out of their mom's life. Um, countless men, countless different houses that, you know, she lived in and guys that stayed there with her. So my kids come up to me and just tell me, look, dad, you have to make a decision between her and us. And it broke my heart. It broke my heart that we had got to that point. It broke my heart for her and her kids. And, you know, my kids were just like, you know, one of her daughters was constantly getting my kids in trouble, was doing stuff and blaming it on my kids. And as a step parent, it's, it's very difficult not to take your child's side. So I made my decision, you know, my decision was easy. It really was. I didn't let her know. She didn't find out for years. Um, we were married for about six years and is that right? Yeah, about six years. And um, just told her, you know, it's not working. Um, we need to go our separate ways for the most part. And it took a while to, to do that. We were separated for a while. Um, I'd still see her on occasion. Uh, but bottom line, we ended up getting divorced and I had to do it for my kids' sake. And when I made that decision, I made my kids a promise. And I said, look, no more moms. As long as you kids are living in my house and you know, you're in high school, you know, preparing for college and everything, I'm basically gonna put my life on hold. And I think there is too many people out there that are not willing to make that sacrifice. And, you know, I've made that sacrifice now for, gosh, it's been, what, almost four years probably? Um, I don't know exact dates, but around the four year mark. And, you know, I'm not saying that I haven't went out on a date here or there because I have, but bringing kids and inter or bringing women and introducing them into my children's lives I hadn't done now I have done that recently all right and we'll get to that you know later on I just want to kind of keep this as as an introduction to me to where you get to know me a little bit so as you see my video blogs come out uh, you can see where I'm coming from and what my viewpoints are I am a very big believer in working hard. Um, I don't believe in abortion. I believe in capital punishment. Um, I'm a strong Southern Baptist believer. Um, the only things that I really don't believe with, the Southern Baptists don't fall in line with, is you know the no dancing, the no gambling, um, I don't see a problem with gambling as long as you are not taking food out of your out of your mouth. You know, can't pay your rent because you've been gambling too much or whatever. I look at it as a form of entertainment. And then also, I don't believe with the drinking. I believe there's nothing wrong with drinking. Um, I do believe there is an issue if you are constantly getting drunk. Um, whenever you lose bodily control and you lose your mental capacity, I do believe that that's a, a sin and that's a problem. And it's a very strong belief that I have. And a lot of that comes from, in my younger days, you know, I, I was T-boned by a drunk driver that to this day still affects me. And that has been 23, 24 years ago. And to this day, it still affects my body. And then with my kid's mother, 
being a drunk. Uh, it's just not what I want introduced into my life, and it's not what I want introduced into my children's lives. I'm a very firm believer in no drugs. Um, doesn't matter if it is heroin, cocaine, all the way down to, you know, I say, I say down because society looks at it that way, but down to smoking a blunt, you know, marijuana. Uh, I believe it's wrong. I, it's my belief. Nobody's going to change my mind on that. Um, it affects your body chemistry and it does change the way that you think and feel. And therefore, I believe it's wrong um, to do that. You know, and I sit there and say that and speak out one side of my mouth while I'm sitting here with a dip in the other side of my mouth, you know, because I don't believe that is right either. Um, but yet I'm sitting here doing it. And everybody's got their vices. Everybody's got their own demons that they battle. And that's one of mine is, is dipping. So that's kind of who I am. Um, I've worked in the same industry. I mentioned earlier, I'm in the fire protection industry. I started back in November of 1994. So you can do the math. This November, it will be 24 years that I've worked in this industry. Um, I have worked my ass off. Um, I started off as a customer service representative, answering the phone and what I like to call as an office bitch, just did whatever I could. Um, I took books home on my own and started studying the industry, started studying the codes and the standards and manufacturer's manuals and, and stuff like that, and worked my ass off to where by, you know, I started in November of 94, by March of 1997, I'd be given my own branch, and I relocated to Fort Myers, Florida to uh, work out of that office and manage it. And then in April of 1998, I got the opportunity to come back home to Oklahoma City and manage this office. So I did that. And again, just, you know, worked my ass off until we got bought out by a very large competitor. And I worked for them for a short period of time and I just couldn't do it. So I opened up my own company. And you've kind of heard the story about my own company. Um, on what happened to it, but I ended up selling it um, for a loss. And, you know, I'm still paying off that debt because I believe that's my debt. Yes, I could have filed for bankruptcy within the company and just been done with that debt, but I don't believe that that's right. And so I didn't do it. Um, and so here I did that back in what? I sold back in 2009 and I'm still paying for it today. And a couple more years and I'll be done with it. Uh, maybe a year if I really buckle down and, but I doubt it, it'll probably be two years. So, I just, I went to work for the company that I sold to, worked for them for about seven years before they laid me off. And, you know, I was, out of work for about a month and went to work for the company that I work for now, which has just been a total godsend. I've been with them for almost two years now. August will be two years and I get to work from home, um, which means I get more time with my kids and get to spend with them and, you know, try to teach them about the world. And, and I love it. You know, I'm a dad. I'm a dad first and foremost first and foremost is my children over anything else in this world and I love them so much and I would do anything for them so that's kind of my my first blog or vlog sorry um, just kind of introduce you to me um, I'll be trying to do these vlogs uh, every couple nights um, just kind of depends upon what's going on and what I what I can and can't do depending on what the kids got going on um, but if you watch this I appreciate it I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you would uh, you know send it to your friends and let's get some some people following me and like I said you know feel free to let me know if you've got a specific topic that you'd like for me to touch on and you know I'm not 
any type of professional or anything like that but I do have a lot of experience in in life and I've got a lot of a lot of thoughts that I'd like to get out there to all of you so thank you so much for you know watching my first vlog and I look forward to you know seeing y'all's comments and responses and seeing if we can get some subscribers in here thanks y'all have a great night